Hi and welcome to this video on long division. Maths made easy. It's important in long division to write out the division properly. So let's do that first of all. This number 24 is called the divisor. This number is called the dividend and then the answer which goes here is called the quotient. In long division I find that we're constantly referring to the multiplication table for the divisor over and over again which makes it a bit cumbersome and slow. So if we make a multiplication table quickly for 24 and refer to it over and over again it makes it far simpler. So let's do that. Let's make a multiplication table for 24. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I don't think there's a need to go beyond 10. Right, 1 times 24, simply 24. 2 times 24, just double the 24 and we get 48. 3 times 24, add the answers that we got for the 2 and the 3 and we get 72. 4 times 24, just double the answer that you got for the 48 and you get 96 5 times 24 just add the 3 and the 2 answers so that makes 5 and we get 120 6 times 24 just double the answer that we got for the 72 and we get 144 7 times 24 add the answers that we got for the 4 and the 3 and we get 168 8 times 24 double the answer that we got for the 96 and we get 192 9 times 24 add the answer that we got for the 5 and the 4 and we get 216 and finally 10 times 24 just add a 0 240 so there we are, we've got a quick 24 times table, up to 10. Now, going back to the long division. We just simply follow this method. How many times does 24 go into 8? Zero times, write down the zero. How many times does 24 go into 83? For this we go down the times table that we just did and look for the number that doesn't is near to 83 but doesn't go beyond 83, doesn't go greater than 83. And there we see 72. We write the 72 here and we write the 3 over there on the top. Now we subtract the 83 and the 72, we extract, um, subtract the 72 from the 83 and we get 11. We bring down the 5. Now we say how many times does 24 go into 115? go down the table and we find 5 we've gone over, 4 is just less, that's what we want. 
So the answer is 96. Put the, ans the 96 at this position and the 4 at the position in the quotient. Now we subtract the 96 from the 115 and we get 19. We bring down the 8, so the 8 is here. How many times does 24 go into 198? We go down the table and when we're looking down the table the nearest to that without going over is 192. We write 192. We write the 8 in this place in the quotient and we subtract the 192 from the 198. The answer we get is 6. We bring down the 2. Twenty-four. How many times does that go into 62? Look down the multiplication table we've made. And the answer is 2. That's the nearest without going over. So we write down the 48. Write down the 2 in its place in the quotient. And then we subtract the 48 from the 62. And the answer we get is 14. So the answer 83,582 divided by 24 is 3,482 and this is the remainder so we put an R14 and that is the answer.